Good morning and welcome to our live event um, here today on February the 18th. I still have a little bit of a uh, voice uh, messed up in my flu of the last week and I wanted to talk about that this morning in relationship to fibromyalgia. Um, it's a chronic pain that I don't have, but I work with people that all the time and yet for a couple days I had this pain that just knocked me out and I wasn't able to participate. Um, so because I'm always working with people with chronic pain, I was very sensitive to this. I was using the ice method and also ended up using a Qigong exercise that turned out to be very effective um, for having this flu just stop and go away after two days. I wanted to talk about those things um, this morning in this event. And I uh, wanted to start out by saying how I spend a lot of time reading blogs of um, bloggers who have fibromyalgia and these incredible heroic stories of them really finding enough energy to be able to share their story. And for those two days that I had this terrible sinus headache, I just couldn't get the, you know, the energy up to do the regular things of my day. And yet people with fibromyalgia are constantly facing that and writing about it. And one of my wishes is that people would learn the ice method, have the ice method, turn off the fight or flight stress response, and feel better. And yet when I was sitting there in the midst of that flu, I was using it constantly for two days. And the pain would change and I would pay attention to the specific parts in my sinuses. You know, sometimes like the sinus pain is particularly severe there and I would ice that and I would ice this. And for those of you that don't know the ice method, right, you can go to myfibromyaltrelief.com, my website, and you can learn this very simple technique. But then the pain would shift around. And it was just this constant attention to this pain that I was experiencing. And very tiring also to do the ice method. And one of my questions is, how can I have this very simple method that will be most accessible for people who want to experience the relief it brings for shutting off our fight or flight stress response so that our body can heal? And so for me, it was a very good experience of just sort of being in that pain position that I don't normally spend a lot of time in. It was also very good to just keep on using ice. You know, I've been using it for a couple of years now is constantly for whatever shows up, whether it's a physical issue or an emotional issue. And ICE was having its effect when I was paying attention to the ICE method, bringing that calm consciously into the places where I had pain. And then when I stopped, it would shift around. And then I also discovered in this process that um, I started some Qigong exercises, a Qigong class actually, and there's a standing pose and that when I stood in this pose, this relaxed pose, having my spine, the energy of my spine going up and everything else in my body going down and relaxed as possible, my head would stop hurting in that moment. But then if I sat down again or laid down, the pain would come back. And so I would stand in this pose and then I get tired of standing in this pose stop and the headache would come back. Okay, so I was treating this exercise of a flu as an exercise in my body and my mind. And I'm really glad that I've had enough experience now that basically life shows up as this exercise between body and mind. And where is that intersection? You know, in the past we, most of us, we've had a very sharp definition between body and mind. And the more that I um, use the ice method, the more that I learn about different techniques and the more I learn about the science of health, the more I see that there is, in some sense, very little intersection or, or dividing line between body and mind. The body affects mind, mind affects body, we are mind and body together. And I haven't had a big flu like this for a long time. And this time I treated it as body and mind together. So on the second night of the flu, I had this relapse. Um, just the sweats were happening, and the nausea and the sinus headache had come back full force. And I stood up for a little bit with the Qigong piece. And then I 
remembered in the course that I had missed, the instructor had emailed me and said there's this lying down pose um, that they were going to learn. And so I didn't even know the specifics of it, but I went in and lay down. And in my mind, I put myself in a position of the spine completely relaxed and extended, the chin tucked in a little bit, the neck uh, part of the spine continuing uh, with the back, the rest of the body just sort of melting away, um, the energy flowing down everywhere else, and my headache reduced, and then it went away. And I lay there, it seemed like a couple of hours, because it was a comfortable position and I didn't have any pain. And then I must have drifted off to sleep, and it might have only been 20 or 30 minutes. But it seemed like a long time in which I had no pain. I drifted off to sleep, and when I woke up, the symptoms of my cold, of this flu, were all gone, and they never came back. The next day, I had a couple of hundred miles to drive. We were going to an event, picking up a family member. And I thought, well, I'll just lay in the back of the car while all this happens and sleep. And I ended up being awake the whole day, no naps, doing much of the driving, participating fully in the events. So how is it that this stuff works? You know, you could look at it and say, oh, that wasn't that Qigong thing. It was just the time for it to go away. It's possible. And yet, in the previous two days, each time I had stood up in that pose, the headache had gone away during the time that I was in that pose. And when I went out of it, just sat in the chair, lay down, and walked around, that really strong sinus headache was there again. How is it that when I was using the ice method, each time I paid attention to the particular pain in a particular area of my body, I would feel an impact almost immediately, that it would dissipate, just sort of diffuse in that area. And then when I stopped paying attention, it would come back. But it would diffuse in the more tension. So it's clear that from the science of what's happening, by paying attention, Qigong is a way of paying attention, a more bodily embodied way of doing it. EFT is mindful attention. That when we do that, we actually change the peptide chemistry of our body. We change the instruction set. Uh, chemical instruction set to the 50 trillion cells of our body. And when we do that, we feel different in our body because our mind is paying attention in a different way. And so it's not surprising to me that I was able to experience different feelings based on the way I was paying attention. And one of the things that I want to bring up is just that this is very different from reactivity, my own reaction to a flu or a cold or a sickness, which would include you know, an anger about being sick and what I was missing and a fear of the pain, you know, a reactive fear of the pain. In this case, the ice, mate, the ice method, um, really for anything, but I use it in this case as a way to um, ice away, calm away, exchange peptides and any reactivities that arose. Okay, so not only the physical pain, but the frustration of having a flu when I had other things to do. The anger at having a flu. The fear, this fear of how long is this pain going to last? You know, how long do I have to live with this pain? Is it going to get worse? Is it going to take a long time to get better? that fear. And all of those can be iced, right? You identify as they come up. And then you use a method of calm, moving out between the two points to the space that has nothing in it, and then exchanging peptides. And so I actually experienced this flu in a calm way. And when anything that showed up wasn't calm, I was able to ice it and calm it and come back to a state where my fight or flight stress response was turned off, which means my body was in growth mode, right? The cells were able to bring in energy, get rid of waste, communicate with other cells. They were automatically doing everything they could to heal. 
So I wanted to report this for a couple of reasons. One, um, it's another experience of using the ICE, maybe ICE method, and maybe you'll find it useful in, in increasing your, um, you know, your, your wanting to use it for different situations. Um, another one, though, is um, just how clearly um, it came to me, again, just how much pain, chronic pain, takes away from our ability to engage life. You know, one of the challenges I face with my fibromyalgia relief is um, is reaching people in a way that this seems like a solution that they would have enough energy to try. As I read around on the blogs, people have tried so many things, and you look at the comments on the blog, people are writing, oh, do this and this and this and this. And so the ICE method, reconsolidation, this new thing of memory reconsolidation, um, sits there amongst all of these other things. It's like, oh, just one more thing to get up enough energy to try. Okay, I tried two things <laughs> during this. The ice method and Qigong. I didn't try ten other things. I tried these two things. So, um, another piece to share is just like bringing the ice method to people who are living with you know, very reduced um, tolerance for new things because of the pain. Uh, and then finally, just uh, the effects of using the ice method, and then the effect of using Qigong, this very important body, mind, energy method that I'm learning, where there was um, clearly discernible feedback for me when I was standing up, and then I believe it went down, and, and it just simply went away. This connection, this amazing connection between body and mind, and for me, that's the great fun of this whole project, is to explore that. And the gift that I get is to see it happening in the lives of so many other people. I really feel privileged uh, uh, to have become aware of this connection and now to see it active in the lives of so many people. I just wanted to share that over these last couple of days I was having a pretty intense experience of uh, using it in a way that was new to me uh, for a uh, pretty severe uh, cold, uh, flu, headache, nausea. Um, symptoms like that. So, still working on that voice coming back a little bit. Um, feeling very good and glad to be back um, back in gear. Wish you a wonderful day. Thanks for sharing this and um, thanks for being a participant here at MyFibromyalgiaRelief.com. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.